come on in. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Praise God for a wonderful day. Even with the cold weather here in our part of town, we got a little snow and it's supposed to rain too. You know, but that's all right because this is the day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in. To God be the glory. I am Minister Tolliver, and we are going to have Minister's Minutes with Minister Tolliver, where we fellowship on worship, word, and wisdom. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Praises, praises, praises. Worship him in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Worship, worship, worship him in spirit and in truth. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God, glory to God. So happy to be here with you guys. Today is Tuesday. We're going to call it Trusting Tuesday. <laughs> yes, God, we're going to call it Trusting Tuesday because we are trusting him to do everything he has promised, everything he has said. Glory to God, glory to God. What a mighty and a wonderful God we serve. Come on in, come on in. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. So happy to be with you on today. All oh, to God be the glory. It's a marvelous, marvelous thing to be on the wake up list one more time. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Glory to God. You have come in on this live and you are with me, Minister Janice Tolliver with Minister's Minutes, and we are going to fellowship, hallelujah, with worship, word, and wisdom. To God be the glory. Give him praise, give him honor, and give him glory. Hallelujah, God, we thank you for who you are and what you are. God, we thank you for being God by yourself. God, we thank you for this beautiful day in front of us, God, where you have given us brand new mercies and brand new grace, God. Thank you so much for your loving kindness, God. Thank you so much, God, for your caring and, and kind hand, God. Thank you so much for your love and compassion, God. We don't deserve it, but you give it to us anyhow, God. Thank you so much, God, for those who are under the sound of my voice. God, that you would bless this time in Minister's Minutes. Bless everyone under the sound of my voice, God. Bless those who would click, tag, like, and share, God, in the name of Jesus. Bless those who may catch it on the replay, God. In the name of Jesus, let your word fall on fertile ground, Father, that we may grow, God. We may transform, God. In the name of Jesus, let your word change us, God. Let your message come forth, oh God. Hide me behind the cross, God. In the name of Jesus, have your way on today, God. We love you so much. We worship and adore you, God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, God. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for what you are. Oh, God, look and have mercy on us, God. Look and have mercy for anything we said, done, or thought that was contrary to your will, God. In the name of Jesus, look and have mercy on us, God. In the name of Jesus, spread your hand on the sick and the shut in, God. Spread your hand on those who are suffering, God. Spread your hand on those who are weak and infirm, God. In the name of Jesus, we are trusting you, God, on today, which is Trusting Tuesday, God. We are trusting you right now for be for your word, God. We are trusting you for your promise, God. We are trusting you for a breakthrough right now, God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Worship him, worship him, worship him. Oh, God, it's just so wonderful to be with you guys on today again. I, I promise you my day gets better after 1130 a.m. Monday through Friday, Central Standard Time. I just I, I just can't wait to see you guys and talk with you and share the love of God with you in the name of Jesus. It is so important that we do that under these trying times. <laughs> amen. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. What a wonderful and mighty God we serve. I just I just can't get enough of him. And I pray as long as he filled me up with him, I will pour it out onto you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, have mercy. Okay, so on today, our subject matter is light of the world. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Our subject matter on today is light of the world. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. You can just rest in that right there. I promise you, it just warms me the thought of it. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. We'll be coming from Matthew chapter 5 verses 16 uh 14 through 16 matthew chapter 5 verses 14 and 16 14 through 16 praise god in the name of jesus glory to god i'll be reading from the niv version and the word of the lord reads as thus you are the light of the world a town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your father in heaven. Hallelujah, Jesus. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and doing of his holy word. Hallelujah, Jesus. I just love these passages because they're packed with much more than we can possibly imagine. Um, so here in the text in chapter five, in chapter five of Matthew, Jesus is actually uh, teaching his disciples. It's right before He's going to give the Sermon on the Mount. Amen. And so uh, this is also the chapter where you'll find the Beatitudes, or they call them the Blesseds. Amen. And so here, Jesus is emphasizing to them what their true assignment is, right? He had just got done telling them in, in verses um, 11 and 12, or 12 and 13, that they were the salt of the earth. And we know that salt must have its seasoning in order to be of use. Amen. And so here he is saying to them, they are the light of the world. Hallelujah. Mm, what a magnificent, magnificent thing to be given by Jesus himself. Um, also, and it carries a great responsibility. So here Jesus is telling his disciples, a great compliment and a great responsibility because in John 8 and 12 and also John 9 and 5, Jesus claims and calls himself to be the light of the world. And so for him to say this to his disciples as um, the purpose of their assignment on, on what they were doing as disciples is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful to know. So Jesus says, you are the light of the world. Now understand that light is needed and necessary mm -hmm, because the world is in darkness in the name of Jesus. I mean, if you just look at us where we are in our times right now today, truly it is a testament to say that light is needed and necessary. Glory to God, glory to God. Ooh, come on, Jesus, let's unpack this together. 
So light gives the gift of guidance so that those who have lost their way can find a path home. What does that mean? It means with your light that is inside of you that connects you to the love of Christ is meant for others. Amen, amen. It is meant for others. It's meant to illuminate wherever you go. So that's what that means where it says um, that so that men can see your good deeds. No, that's not, that doesn't mean for you to do good so people can see you. Amen. Let me say that again. Let me say that again. That does not mean for you to do good just so that people can see you. Good deeds is actually a characteristic. It's actually a point of integrity. It's actually who you are in Christ. Who you are in Christ is your light. And the more closer you are to him, the higher you hold him, the more you worship and praise him and live by what he stands for, it illuminates like a light. Amen. The light of the world. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, Holy Ghost. Here there are three, there are three points that are very important uh, not to miss. It's it's passion. As a Christian, we should have passion for being the light. Amen. It's promise because having and being the light promises to illuminate the way of salvation and everlasting life to those who are lost and do not have it. Amen. Amen. And purpose. The purpose of being the light of the world is to glorify God. Mm. Come on, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. It is to glorify God, not man, not the ushers, not the pulpit, not all these traditions and religions and all of these things. And, and it's not about the tree and Santa Claus and all that kind of thing. It is about glorifying God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you so much, God. Come on, Holy Spirit, and teach us right now in the name of Jesus. The Greek translation for light is false, and it means happiness, victory, and glory. Hallelujah. Happiness, victory, and glory. And we know that as believers, happiness for us is joy. Ha! There it is. Come on, Holy Spirit. It is joy. And so therefore, what am I saying? I am saying that being the light of the world, as Jesus has called us as his disciples, means to always be tapped into your joy. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Yes, God. Give God a praise right there. Always be tapped into your joy so that your light will so shine wherever you go. What does that mean? You know, when, when you have a smile and you smile and it radiates from inside where you go somewhere and someone says, oh, your smile just lights up a room. Yes, God. Yes, God. Be that light that illuminates the room that illuminates people that God assigns to you. Because it's never a mistake when we cross paths with someone. It's never a mistake when a situation occurs. It's never a mistake when something occurs that we are responsible to make a decision to act as a Christian in. Mm. Come on, Holy Ghost. You are the light of the world in the name of Jesus. The word says a town built on a hill cannot be hidden. What is that saying? That is saying that something important to be seen by people who need to follow it to get to light is not going to be hidden. Neither do people put a lamp under a bowl. Hallelujah. What is he saying? There is no use for light if it's hidden. Come on now, you want to be useful in your light. Hallelujah. Instead, it is put on the stand and gives light. 
Hallelujah, Holy Spirit, it gives light to everyone in the house. Hallelujah. And pay attention right here to the keyword, everyone. It does not say only those who have money or only those who dress well or only those who come from a high standard. No, no, and no again. It says everyone. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because God is not a respecter of persons in the name of Jesus. And so we come to the point that the light that we carry is our joy. Hallelujah. There's always something good to find to be grateful for. There's always a reason to worship him and praise him. There's always something. And we as his disciples must have our light so that we may illuminate that to those who are lost those who don't know him, those who are suffering. You come across somebody that need a good word, give them that good word. That's what it means. Give them what they need to see that Christ, hallelujah, is the way and the light. In the name of Jesus, come on, Holy Ghost. Nehemiah 8 and 10 says, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Ha, glory to God. What does that mean? When someone walks upon you and they say, whoa, you look so different. Yes, God, hallelujah. Let me tell you why. I know a man named Jesus. Glory to God. He changed my life. Glory to God. Soon as I loved him, in the name of Jesus, glory. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Hallelujah. He is the joy of my strength. Hallelujah. The more I call him, the better I feel. The more I call him, the better I feel. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Give God a hand clap of praise right there. In the name of Jesus, this is what it means to be the light of the world. This is what it means to carry it wherever you go. Hallelujah, Jesus. Tap into your joy. Tap into your love. Tap into your compassion. Remember to keep your light. Remember to keep your light and give it to others. Remember that smile will light up the room. Hallelujah. Remember there is no tears that Jesus won't dry. Remember, hallelujah, that there is a reason for you to be here. You have a purpose. You have a promise. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Keep your light on. Keep your light on. Hallelujah. Light him up, God, for Jesus. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, let your light so shine. Let your light shine among men. Glory to God. Sometimes you are the only Bible people get to see. Amen. Keep your light on because you are the light of the world. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God, I ask that you would please bless those who come in on this live, God. Bless their bloodline, God. Bless them throughout the rest of their day, God, in the name of Jesus. God, that you would please bless those who would tag, like, and share, God, and spread your message, God, so people can know that they are the light of the world as disciples for you. God, that you would bless those that will catch the replay, God, in the name of Jesus. God, please especially bless those who will simply look. They won't help it. They won't do nothing else. They won't share. But God, touch them in their soul that they receive your word anyhow. That they receive your message anyhow. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. Amen. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Woo! Glory to God. Glory to God. Mm. Woo! I love you like Jesus loved the church. I am Minister Janice Tolliver, and you've just experienced Minister's Minutes with Minister Tolliver. I will be here as long as the Lord says, 
Monday through Friday at 11.30 a.m. Central Standard Time to fellowship on worship, word, and wisdom. To God be all the glory, honor, and praise. Be blessed, and I'll see you again. <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs> yes, glory. Glory to God.